All right, ladies and gentlemen, the dignitaries for the first special session have arrived. The stage is set, and we now commence the first special session on the theme Using Disruption to Propel Exponential Growth. I now invite the distinguished chairman of the session, Professor Dr. Balavi Balachandran, founder, dean, and chairman, Great Lakes Institute of Management, to take his place on the dais. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Bala Balachandran with a round of applause. I also invite the distinguished speakers, Mr. Ganesh Subramaniam, founder and CEO, Stylomia Intelligence Technology Private Limited, and also the former COO of Mintra, Dr. Shashank Shah, visiting scholar, Harvard Business School, and consulting editor, Business India Group, and Mr. Vikram Mehra, Managing Director, Sare Gama India Limited. Can we have a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to the dignitaries? A teacher by qualification, but an academic entrepreneur by choice, Professor Bala Balachandran is one of the best known names in the Indian and American management education landscape. The Government of India conferred on him the Padma Shri in 2001 in recognition of his contribution towards higher education in India. He's also a recipient of the prestigious Aima Kewal Noria Award for Academic Leadership in Management Education for 2017 and the Jeevan Pur Gaurav Puraskar at the Third National Teachers Congress organized by the MIT World Peace University in 2018. Professor Bala Balachandran will chair this session. We have with us uh, our distinguished speakers, Mr. Ganesh Subramaniam, who's a founder and CEO of Stylumia, a technology venture solving real world problems in fashion and lifestyle businesses using cutting edge artificial intelligence. An experienced retail professional, Mr. Ganesh, has had long stints with India's leading fashion and general merchandise retailers. He was earlier the chief operating officer of the fashion e, the fashion e tailor Mintra. We also have with us Dr. Shashank Shah, who's a thought leader in stakeholder-centric corporate strategy, corporate responsibility, and value-centric leadership, with over 100 national and international publications to his credit. A recipient of the President of India and Governor's Gold Medals for Excellence in the MBA and MPhil programs at Sri Satyasai Institute of Higher Learning, and, and of the IIMS International Outstanding Doctoral Management Student Award at IAM Ahmedabad. We have with us Mr. Vikram Mehra, who joined Sare Gama India Limited as a managing director in 2014. Prior to joining Sare Gama, he held the position of chief commercial officer at Tata Sky since 2004. He had also worked with Star TV as the vice president, and Mr. Mehra brings with him a wealth of experience to handle the ever-developing digital platforms. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the first spe uh, special session. As uh, announced earlier, we have given uh, in the delicate kit the question slips. After the presentations are done with the uh, distinguished speakers, the forum will be open for questions. Please use the question slips and hand it over to the officials. I now hand over the session to the chairman of the session, Professor Dr. Balavi. Thank you very much. Good morning, friends. Come on, guys, you are 300 or so. I don't see any energy. You wouldn't believe this today. I couldn't believe this also. At 9.30 this morning, I was in the home of superstar Rajini Kant, who is an embodiment of energy. So I am coming from there. So even though he is 67 years old, but his energy level is much beyond even a 27-year-old. And that is one of the reasons he is able to simultaneously do romance with Deepika, Padukone, and Shreya, and anybody else whose combined age is less than his age, and make them tired. <laughs> that is Rajani Khan, superstar. But I always wonder how the heck he is so, so energetic. Very, very simple. He is acting energetic. Actually, when I saw him, I was saw the first time I see him face to face in his home. When I saw him, he is just a normal person, bald, old, gray hairs, possibly depressing because he's having some health problems also, but nothing stops him. 
I always wonder, it doesn't matter what you don't have, but what matters is what you do what, what you have, what you do with what you have. If you notice that Beethoven cannot see things, cannot hear things, and, and at the same time, he did the best music. He did not complain, I am deaf, I am blind but he did the best music. Similarly, in my opinion, Shivaji Ganeshan is the all-time favorite great actor, but he is not given the title of superstar. He did not get Padma Bhushan. only superstar got it. And what did he do? He has some things with him. What you do with what you have? It doesn't matter what you don't have. So notice that Indians for the last, after two, three centuries, are now getting something to excel the entire world in a disruptive world to do something better than anybody else. Number one is the so-called industrial revolution with the disruptive technologies, disruptive business models. And therefore, he is able to, we are able to get a title in US and Europe, a title called Indian Techie. If an Indian Techie cannot solve a problem, nobody else in the world can solve a problem. I'm going to give a little bit of that thing. I, I want you to know. So before anything, with a salutation to the superstar, I am going to still see. So because he is acting, now, if you start acting energetic, even if you are not, you are going to be amazingly energetic. So it becomes a habit. I am 81 running on 82. My energy level, even when superstar touched my feet, I want to have your energy. I spoke to him certain things. So anyway, I really want you to know, in the disruptive world, the first weapon you have is energy. The second weapon you have is your left brain, which is analytical. I, I really want to emphasize that, and I will come to that point. So now that I, I'm going to try one more time, how is your energy level? Good morning, friends. Good morning. Wow, that's exactly what we want. Let us be energetic, right? Doesn't matter who is the prime minister, who is the president in US, nothing, all of them. People to people can create unbelievable wealth and very important. And that is the first time India has the opportunity. I'm going to give you two, three stories. The world of VUCA, you know, volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. The world of VUCA about 1995, after the internet world, has moved into something called BOCA, borderless, so that something called globality. Can I compete with anyone in the world for any resource from the world, in the world, and from anywhere in the world? I am in Manamai, near Mahabalipuram, in a village, in a 32-acre campus. Please see that. My dean came and said, this, this particular campus and the building is far better than Kellogg or Harvard. We, we did that. Not only that, we got the top 10 award in the world as a business school. Only I am a bacha, 15 years, but my itcha is far beyond. All right, we are the top three in the world, along with Chicago Booth, Carnegie Mellon, New York Stern, NCR, and the only business school is our school mentioned there. I am proud of it. How do we do it? If the disruptive world is not there, I cannot do that. There is no way my distance between myself and my benchmark, I am Ahmedabad, is going to change. When I am 15 and they are 67, if 10 years from now, they will be 77 and I'll be 25. But what can make a difference is you can excel in something where your left brain can be put to heavier use. And that is exactly what I'm calling it as AIM lab. It's not a lab, it is A for not artificial intelligence, I use the word augmented intelligence. No day the computer can replace a human being. 
the computer can do faster, better, cheaper, etc., etc., but cannot think of the future. Uncertainties are inevitable. Worrying is optional. Panicking is pathetic, and planning is paramount. And therefore, let us put our resources together and conquer the whole world. I gave a talk at the MMA at the 80th anniversary time. Now I am adding a word. Every time we improve, continuously improve. I call it as AIM law, now I am putting AIM lab. Let me explain that. A for augmented intelligence, I for internet of things, ML for machine learning, both structured and unstructured. Then algorithmic analytics, I stopped there. Now blockchain is an area where we are going to dominate in the entire world. Nobody is better than us in blockchain because trust, transparency, etc., are needed, and that is the only mass uh, ledger in a single place with the truth preserved and transparency, and you can track it. And trust is developed. So this is exactly what we have created as a, a, a special major in addition to marketing and whatnot in a disruptive world, and that is ruling the world. As a matter of fact, I am willing to give you two of the copies I have. This is the only school is now focusing on family entrepreneurship and small businesses. And as a matter of fact, Babson College, which is a university in Boston, has the amazing track record of 22 years in a row, number one in the world on entrepreneurship and family entrepreneurship. So with them, we are creating a degree program. Similarly, by staying here, and I know that SRM University members are here, even Pach Ravi Pachamuthu for his daughter wants to go, go to Great Lakes rather than SRM program itself. Not, no offense, sir. But at the same time, a, a, a sort of a, compared to inbreeding, getting outside is better. Why? By staying here, but with just one month stay at Chicago, you get a degree from IIT, which is known to be the best school for design thinking in the disruptive world. And at the same time, it also is creating, creating a wonderful art, uh, artificial intelligence that kind of thing. Kaufman Center of Entrepreneurship, all put together with the Great Lakes is giving. And at the same price of the same MBA students, at the same Indian prices, you can get an US degree, AICSB available. Not I want to brag or sell the thing, but what is possible is suddenly, thanks to the, the so-called disruptive technologies and disruptive world, you can stay anywhere in the world, even in a village called Manamai near Mahabalipuram, and can compete with Harvard, compete with Chicago Booth for any resource from anywhere. And that globality is made possible because of this disruptive world. So Boca is borderless, and then O is overload of work. Everybody is working more than ever before to stay where you are. And then the A is, of course, alarmingly ambiguous and, the, and, and whatnot. And addiction to technology. I would like to change that A to be addiction to technology rather than ambiguity. And of course, complex, more complex. Now that Boca world, two years back, thanks to industrial revolution 4.0, has become what is called as a puka world. So buka, boka, puka, like a inaminatika, taidamanika, that kind of stuff. What is puka? Platform for unmanned cargo aircraft. Imagine a, a Boeing 777 or a jumbo jet of that type can leave New York and reach Shanghai in probably less than 18 hours nonstop without a pilot, without any human being. And, and therefore, the fuel that is consumed to keep the pressurized cap cabin for people to breathe, that cost is not there. Now, as a matter of fact, the transportation of any cargo from this to that place, instead of the traditional route of either plane taking multiple days or ship, that shipping cost is more than the cost of transporting through this kind of unmanned cargo aircraft. That is already happening. It is not a future. 
And if these kind of things are happening, what are we going to do? Now, this is where the Indian techie is important. I want to give a story. My younger son has a Tesla car. We went to Houston, not at this time, but in the summer. You may imagine why the heck this guy is in India in the month of December, January, February. Very simple. Imagine living in Chicago in the same time. When your breath becomes solid, breath becomes solid. You throw a hot water, it becomes ice in seconds. You walk out five minutes, frostbite, your leg is to be amputated. Where is the place with all kinds of problems I have? I have quintuple bypass surgery, pacemaker, every bionic item, hip surgery, every part is gone. I have only non-performing assets, <laughs> whatever you can think at age 81. Now with that, but my brain is performing. So how do we create in this disruptive world an exponential growth? And that growth may not happen in Europe, not in the forward countries. It is going to happen either in India, if not in China. I think Indians have a little advantage on this. So how do we explain that? So in this Tesla car when it was gone, and thanks to, I saw Ravi Vishwanathan and others here. When the Tesla car was gone, I, like my Lexus car, I called them uh, in a hard sun. And then I said, ma'am, electricity is gone because it's an electric car. It has gonked, so I am sweating. Please send your loaner car so that I can go. Sir, could you explain, this is a lady, could you explain what exactly happened one minute before? I explained what exactly happened, and this is what the ring, I got a clunk, clunk, clunk. It stopped, and I am sweating now. Send me quickly. Can you hold on two minutes? Yes, I will hold on two minutes on the phone. Of course, she said, have a nice day. Ma'am, I don't have a nice day. Don't bullshit me. Get to the job. And I thought she's a secretary. In less than two minutes, when I described what I did, I was on hold, but I also heard a song from Kabali. Wow, how the heck Kabali song is coming at this remote corner in Houston, in the highway. And suddenly I also heard some Tamil words. Guess what? There are some techies in India at Siruseri listening to my conversation with that lady simultaneously. And they are going system after system in this car with all kinds of technology. I'll come back to the technology. And listen to that thing and they took control of the car from Siruseri to Houston, Texas, and in two minutes fixed the damn problem. And then she said, sir, you press the button. Then incidentally, ma'am, you said your name is Michelle. What's your name? You, you seem to know Tamil. No, no, sir, my name is Minakshi. But for purposes of this, I am also from Siruseri. Had you been to Siruseri? I live in that Seri, ma'am. I live in Great Lake. Oh, you are the Bala. Yes. But I'm so glad. The point I want to say is, if that kind of a technology exists, and that kind of a service exists, where you don't need to take your car to any garage, and you don't need to have any mechanic with a monkey spanner, and in two minutes the job is done, and you are ready to take on the same car, what happens to all those people, the normal mechanics? What happens to the garage? What happens to the entire Puka world? Who will be the stealth competition? Is the, for the shipping corporation, is another shipping corporation, is a competitor or aircraft? Why do you think in between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, the world's biggest airport is constructed exclusively for cargo aircrafts. All these people are going to make money. And guess what? All these systems programmers, software programmers, Michelle changing, may not be changing into Michelle, may be working 
in Sirusheri or in Bangalore or in Pune or whatever place. And guess what? Trump can create a wall. We are going to still be in taking the uh, uh, with the country with all the things, either taking masala dosa in Madras or murgi masala in Bangalore. And we are going to command a much better respect and we are going to be more occupied. So I am advising the ministry as well as the prime minister in addition to this national skill force development, develop our unemployed, underemployed engineers and computer scientists in this area of AIMLA and take charge of the whole control of that and our exponential growth regardless of the politician, regardless of the bureaucrat, people to people is going to be alarmingly high. With that note, I want you to listen to our people. So this, I can go on. But on the question answer session, I will take some charge. I have been given 15, 17 minutes. I am so glad the previous session finished at five minutes before. This time for the lunch, we want to finish 10 minutes before. Without much ado, thank you very much. God bless you and take care of all these people. God bless. Since the introduction has been given, it is my duty and proud pleasure to invite Mr. Ganesh Subramaniam to give his 20 minutes talk and then we'll follow with others. Then we'll have enough time to question and answer. 20 minutes is the time, right? 15, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, thanks for the opportunity. And, uh, you know, before I begin, uh, I was just checking, you know, how many of you are wearing a T-shirt today? 